Guys, this is Melissa. This is part two of um, Naomi's Home Companion. It's probably actually going to go up before part one because for some reason my laptop is not wanting to upload it. Um, and I was talking about uh, my bipolar depression and how I had to throw away the medication because I had a really bad infection. So I've been suffering with depression for about a couple weeks now since I threw the medication away. I got where I couldn't talk, I couldn't walk, um, couldn't do anything. It felt like my blood drained out of my body. So Sean, I thought I was going to have to call an ambulance to come get me. I felt so bad. And it happened for a couple of nights. He thought I was actually drunk because of the way I was talking and my speech was really slurred. So that's kind of been going on, but we're going to finish going over this book a little bit. This is called Larry's Spaghetti Sauce. It looks really good. Um, I would probably add Italian sausage. We like Italian sausage in our spaghetti. But other than that, it looks really good. I think everybody would like it. And that's the recipe for the garlic bread. It doesn't show a picture of it, but it shows a picture of them sitting on a motorcycle. A lot of stories in this book. She goes over a lot of their life in here. Really cute little stories. Let's see. This is ch chicken soup to make your flu the coop is what it's called. Um, I actually like my chicken noodle soup recipe better. I don't have a recipe. I just throw it together what I want in it. Um, but one you could try anybody had the recipe I might could take a really I, this I don't think it's going to focus oh there it goes that's the ingredients in it if anybody wants to try it <clears throat> I think my camera phone focuses better than my Canon um, this is vegetable and barley beef, no, not beef stew, barley soup stew. Um, love barley, <clears throat> sorry, um, but I'd probably rather beef in it. That's probably why I said beef. I would eat it probably better if it had beef in it. More of their stories. Recipe for cherry pie. Um, they're Polly's deviled eggs. Sounds a lot like our deviled eggs. The only thing is, I've never put Worcestershire in ours. So that might be uh, a good one to try. Add in that just to see if it gives it a little bit of a better, different taste. They're good without it, but I like to try it with it just to see what I may be missing. Let's see, more stories. A mother's Love. Here's a Waldorf salad. And these are Easy Onionelles. Never heard of them. They look pretty good. They look like toast with very thinly sliced onion toasted on it. There's the recipe. Um, sausage with milk gravy. I like my, um, great, my sausage chopped up and in the gravy and put on biscuits is how I like it, but that's good too. Another, um, one is similar to our potato salad. Um, let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. I've never put French dressing in potato salad, and we usually use still pickles. So I'd kind of like to give this one a try, see what, um, see how it tastes with that French dressing in it. Scallop cheesy potatoes, which I'm thinking of making a brisket for New Year's. Um, so maybe those would go good with it. Look really good. Uh, broccoli cheese casserole, which sounds really good uh, fresh green beans and potatoes 
Well, we like a recipe similar to this, but ours has a little more flavor in it, so I think ours may be better than that. Um, wilted salad, which they use bacon, hot baking grease to put this on the salad. Um, chicken continental. Looks pretty good. I think Sean may eat that, even though it kind of has a casserole vibe to it. That yellow rice, he likes that. Um, and I think he would eat the other ingredients in it. So, um, I think he might like that. It looks pretty good. Um, this is one thing I used to make um, when, we was, when I was with my ex-husband. Um, baked beans with Franks. We have a set of twins. So, we lived on a tight budget when he um, took a job in Missouri. We moved from Missouri, from Virginia to Missouri. After I'd moved from Texas to be up there with him. And, um, of course, I'm back to Texas now. He's still in Virginia. Um, well, he went back to Virginia. He got, ended up getting cancer, and he's a survivor. So, he, um, he is back there with his sister and dad and aunt and uncle and everybody. The twins are there. Well, the graduated college is there. So, um, Mexican cornbread looks really good. Um, shell macaroni and tuna salad. You'll never get me to make that. I only eat tuna salad sandwiches, and that's with pickles, dill pickles, um, boiled egg, onion, and Duke's mayonnaise on the bread. As wild as I get with tuna. No tuna casserole or anything here. Polly's potato cakes. This is how we make them, so I'll definitely be making this recipe. Good recipe. I've never even heard of cornmeal mush. Here's the ingredients. It looks good. It looks kind of like French toast. But I've never had it. Never even heard of it. Um, salmon patties. This is the recipe. This is how we make ours. Just plain, simple. Um, I use um, Whataburger spicy ketchup on mine. Love salmon croquettes. Probably going to make those this week sometimes. Um, mowing for meatloaf. Sounds really good. I've never put breakfast sausage in a meatloaf before. But it looks absolutely delicious. So, wanting to give that one a try. It looks really good. Barbecued chicken with sauce. And a chicken... I'm not big on chicken legs, but I like chicken thighs. Um, green beans with bacon, which Sean probably liked that, but he'd doctor them up the way we doctor them up. Green bean casserole, don't like at all. Um, green fried green tomatoes. Some more stories. This I want to really give a try. Uh, applesauce cake. Of course, I couldn't eat very much of it, but I could taste a bite of it. Everybody else could eat it. But that's the ingredients from it for it. It looks really good. That's a picture of it. Chocolate, chocolate meringue pie. Quite a few ingredients for this one. Uh, my ex-mother-in-law made the best chocolate meringue pie, and I have her recipe somewhere around here in a notebook that she made for me after Bobby and I got married. Um, sugar cookies. Looks like a simple recipe. I have one that I use on Pinterest that I really like, but these, these could be good, too. Um, she has little cute little musical notes. It gets hard and stars. In the celebrations, Thanksgiving, um, cornbread dressing, which we make cornbread dressing. We don't use sage or rosemary in ours. We actually use um, poultry seasoning. And then for the um, white bread, um, older, slightly toasted, we use the um, Pepperidge Farm, the dried cornbread mix one, and cornbread. So, 
it's pretty much about the same and we put cream of chicken in ours as well and sometimes cream of celery um another jello mold um squash casserole which really looks good she uses yellow squash and um zucchini in it which i like yellow squash better than zucchini but i bet it's really good um sweet potato casserole The recipe if you can see it and there's a picture yeast rolls this one is what I'm really wanting to try it is coconut cake and uh, look how few ingredients the frosting has I would really like to try that it says you have to make it in advance to um, let it set to the right consistency but it really looks good Apricot cookie rolls. That's what they look like. Just the recipe. More stories for the July pictures. Southern sausage roll appetizers. For some reason, I've never cared for them. I've tried them at work luncheons and I just didn't like them. Not something I'm into. Um, whatever pimento cheese spread. You can make it spicy in different temperatures. And I love pimento cheese. So that one would be a good one. Um, lime jello salad. We make a lemon lime jello salad for the holidays. And it has um, Eagle Brand milk in it. Miracle Whip. Cottage cheese, crushed pineapple, and pecans. And it is absolutely delicious. Love that. Been eating it since I was a kid. Uh, funny thing is, when we moved to Germany, I was just a kid still. I had my first son when I was 18. And my husband at the time joined the army shortly after that. And no one told me I had to dissolve the jello. They just wrote down the ingredients in it. And, um, of course it didn't set up, but it, I drank a little bit of it. It was good. Um, the flavor was there. It just didn't set up like it was supposed to. Cucumber and onion salad. I make a cucumber dill salad that we like, so I don't know so much about this one. Maybe in the summer months when the veggies are all fresh, it would be good. Just got some more stories. Uh, Rosseroni salad. Uh, we love Rosseroni. We have tons of it in there on the pantry shelf. But I don't think Sean would go for this. Not at all. Not the ingredients in it. This does look good though. It's a kraut salad. Um, I think it would really be good on hot dogs during the summer after grilling. Kind of nice and refreshing on them. It would taste good. Um, the best lemon pie. It's pretty pie. Looks good. Um, favorite easy chili and fried corn cakes. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. If I can focus on it where you can see the ingredients enough. And those are the corn cakes. And this one makes me thirsty all the time because the, all it comes to mind is um, Hawaiian punch when I was a kid for our birthday parties with our cake and ice cream. So that's what it reminds me of. The ingredients don't, but the name of it does. So it kind of makes me thirsty and the color of it does. And then cheese wafers. Got little pecans on them. This one I wish they had a picture of. It's Granny's Chicken Spaghetti Casserole. And that's some of the ingredients right there. And the rest of them right there. I don't know that I could get Sean to go for that. I, I would like to try it. It sounds good. I love chicken spaghetti. And I'm from Texas. And I've never heard of Texas Lizzie's. But um, it says they're like little... Um, Cookie fruit cakes, which they look really, really good. 
So I'd kind of like to give those a try. And this Sean would definitely eat. Snickerdoodles. He loves snickerdoodles. And then this is a fudge frosting. It says to put on um, your favorite white or yellow cake recipe. I love chocolate icing. Before I had my surgery and before I was diabetic, I'm not on my uh, insulin anymore. Um, within a month of the surgery, I was already able to get off the insulin. But I used to could eat a whole bottle thing of the Duncan Hines chocolate icing. I just love icing. Um, I know it's not good for me, but... It was one of those things, I don't know, it's because I was diabetic and didn't know it and craved it or what it was. But, this is a curry mayo. I got it with dip, I guess, dipping in with my vegetables. And a three bean salad. They look cute in the little jars they have them set in. Uh, Parmesan crusted lemon chicken. And zucchini and squash horseshoes. Never heard of that, but it looks pretty good. And that is it for this book. Um, I was kind of expecting my other one to come in tomorrow. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot bigger. The next book is, but um, planning to make some recipes for y'all out of this book. It's a really good book, and those stuffed peppers that I showed you on part one are really delicious. So, I hope y'all like the video, like and subscribe, and share the video. Y'all have a good night.